Joining us now is Tony Bancroft of the Gabelli Funds. Boeing is the second largest holding in the Gabelli Commercial Aerospace and Defense ETF. Welcome. Good to have you with us, Tony. Great to be back. Thanks, I Tyler. should point out that you don't just study these planes. You have flown F-18s when you're in the Marine Corps. Yep. Was, so you know a little bit about this. A little bit. I do. <laughs> That's awesome stuff. Um, and thank you for doing that, by the way. Thank you. Let's talk a little bit about Boeing. Are you concerned that its reputation over the past few years has been so seriously damaged that airlines may shy away from doing business with it. I think the big picture um, in, in regards to the FAA audit that just uh, uh, recently came up, you know, if the big picture is if, if there were a real problem, obviously the FAA would have shut down Boeing and its processes, and, and, and that's not the case. I, I don't think, uh, I think the news was, uh, was dated. They had already uh, spoken to the FAA about the audit, and they had a plan in place I think it's more of a headline. Uh, and, and I think the real news is, is you know, uh, Administrator Whitaker uh, from the FAA said that in the next 30 days, they're planning on coming up with milestones with Boeing to increase production rates. And I think that's the material, uh, material piece of data that, that uh, I look at as an investor. Obviously, we should look deeper than just the headlines, but the headline numbers were disturbing. I mean, they've failed on 33 of 89 tests, this is according to the New York Times. Uh, its supplier, Spirit Aerosystems, uh, passed only six of 13 audits. Am I hearing you correctly that these numbers, when you look at those numbers, the failures were, I don't mean to say not material, but not serious enough for the FAA to swoop in and say stop production. Right. I, you know, I, again, I, I'm not. I wasn't privy to the actual uh, the actual uh, noncompliance issues. But um, from from what I've been told, speaking with Boeing, the majority, the mass majority, of the noncompliance uh, items were uh, procedural in nature with uh, with with mechanics and essentially how they. The, the, the process which they put the uh, you know the the the, um, the the aircraft together just not maybe being in order and it, it seemed a little more of a granular issue than I think of of a, of a true uh, system problem. Mr. Calhoun, who is the CEO of of Boeing, is he the right guy for the job right now? I think so. I think he's done a great job. I mean, he's he's had to deal with a lot, and I think he's done a great job. Uh, you know, sort of keeping Boeing uh, going in the right direction and and. Uh, Keeping, keeping the the the, uh, the 737 moving. Does does what has happened with the the uh, 737 line, which is their main line? It is really the ball carrier for yes, Boeing. Yes, I mean, for sure. Yeah. The 737 Max 8. Now the 737 Max 9. They've had troubles. I now look when I'm making a, a reservation. Am I going to be getting on a Max 9 or not? I mean, I, my confidence as a right. consumer is in Boeing isn't what it was. Three years ago. Right. Well, let, let's, Five years ago. Sure. Let, let's put it this way. So the, the FAA has the, the, safe, the, the safest um, travel you know, uh, safety record in the world. Right? In the last 15 years, there hasn't been a, a fatality from a crash. And 50% uh, of the fleet, 50% of the weight of that uh, record, of that safety record, is our Boeing aircraft. And, you know, 20, I think 28, 29 percent are, are Airbus and the rest are, are Embraer and, and Bombardier. So, you know, I think as a, if I were as a portfolio manager, my fund, if I were 50 percent of the weight of the best fund in, in, of all time, I, I'd be pretty happy with my performance. Uh, I, I think, you know, I think that's the material. I think it's, it's, it's overlooked. I think, you know, Boeing's had issues uh, keeping the narrative. Uh, maybe, but as far as safety, uh, and obviously IATA just came out. Uh, essentially, the, the trade the trade organizations uh, for for travels um, uh, trade organization uh, they've come out and you know and put out their data. Last year was the safest year on record uh, for commercial aviation. So I, I don't think uh, the, the 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 you know the, the volatility and the issues going on right now, which are more headline grabbing. I think overall on, sa on a safety basis, it's not. You also own.